All right, uh, example one, you know how to write an exponential function when you're given two coordinates. I right, plug those into y equals a, b to the x power, and we got y equals 4 times 3 to the x. You found the exponential function that goes through those two points. All right? So if you had 1, 12 and 3, 108, you know, you found that particular function for it. Now, the next one is find an exponential model. You know, find the function that goes with basically this information right here. So a store sells motor scooters. The table shows the number of Y of scooters they had during the X year that the store had been open. So the first year they sold this many scooters, second year this many, so on, so on. The question it says draw a scatter plot of the data pairs, X natural log of Y. Now they do this because what they wanted you to show you in the book, they wanted you to show you that um, whenever you have an exponential model, like if you have, for all these are X comma Y, for every exponential model, this will happen. If you did X comma natural log of the Y value, you actually end up with a straight line. So they wanted to kind of show you a relationship in this first question right here. So hey, why don't you plot these points and you'll see an exponential model. You'll, you'll see it kind of going up this, increasing in, you know. Um, but then if you took that same x value and you did the natural log of this value right here, you would see this happening for each of these coordinates. It would be a perfect line. So I just want to show you that cool relationship. But I'm going to kind of skip that part of the showing you what that is because I just don't feel it's necessary. So what I really want from you is the second one. How do you find the exponential model? How do you find the exponential function for all of this data right here for the original data? So to do that we're going to use our calculators. We've done this before actually several times. Um, so let's go to it. So turn it on. Go hit stat key. We're going to edit and we're going to type in our list, list 1, list 2. So, here's the values for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, and scroll over. List 2 are your Y values. So, 12, 16, 25, and 36, 50, and 67, 96. There you go. So we have coordinates in our list one, list two, x comma y. Now what we're going to do is, I told us it was an exponential model, an exponential function. So what we're going to do here is hit stat, go over to calc right there, scroll over, and then remember what we did before? We did quadratic regression, we did linear. If we knew it's a line, we pick this. If we knew it's a quadratic, so on, so on, cubic, quartic, but it's none of those. So look for which one do you think? Look, exponential regression, power regression. Remember what regression means? It means basically best fit line. What did it say it was? It said it's an exponential function. So that's why we're going to hit exponential regression. Many times confused for the power regression. Two different things. Okay, so hit uh, that one right there. Zero or enter. Now, uh, exponential regression. I should have cleared this, but that's all right. Exponential regression is this. Y equals A times B to the power of X. Here's your A and here's your B and you're done. Basically, all you have to do is um, round. So, final answer. This whole question is from the calculator, which you're probably thinking that's kind of nice. Right? So, basically, type this in L1, type this in L2, hit uh, exponential regression because Y because it said exponential model. Now, if it didn't tell us, that'd be a different story. But I'm going to tell you. So, final answer. Y equals uh, exponential y equals a times b to the x. A, it told us 8 point something. Right here. 8.46 because they round up and 1.42. 8.46, 1.42. Okay, remember this. 
8.46, oh, went away. 8.46 and 1.42 to the power of x. So y equals this function. Here's your exponential model. Okay? Just type it in the calculator. Alright, um, the example three, just use it. Use the exponential regression um, and use to predict, right? So if x is the number of years, uh, we start selling these things however many years, and y is the number of scooters sold, then it says predict the number of scooters sold in the eighth year. So all they're telling you is 8 is x. So you're going to type in your calculator 8.46, uh, 1.42 to the eighth power, and you're going to hit enter. You're going to get the answer. Okay, so it gives you about 140 approximately, 140 scooters sold. So basically use our, we always use our regressions to predict stuff, okay. Um, that's it. Next one.